Hey pilots, Drain Man here. Today I got a special video for you guys. Today we are going to go over the Steel PDB. Now, there is a video out on the Steel PDB, but it's important that you know that the Steel PDB has changed. There is a new version out. It's not a V2 or anything like that. They've just updated it and changed a few things. So if you're trying to wire it exactly or you're trying to set it up just like that, you might have some problems. So that's why I'm making this video. The second reason is that video is like an hour long. Like when I did mine, I just didn't have the time for that. I just, I needed to know what I needed to know. So like right now I'm already talking too much. So let's dive right in. Okay, pilots, so we got a couple steel PDBs here. You know what I'm saying? Just a couple, you know? I'm just kidding. All right, well, I'm not kidding. These are steel PDBs, but it's more than just a couple. So what we're going to do is we are going to crack this open. And what I want to do is I want to go over with you guys the pinout. Once we have the pinout figured out, you guys will know how to wire it. Once you know how to wire this thing, then we're going to go ahead. I'm going to show you how to flash it, show you how to set it up and do all the other fancy stuff with it. And then from there, you're good to go. Okay, pilots. So uh, first off, please forgive me. I'm going to use a, I don't want to say used, I should say currently active steel PDB. Uh, there's no sense in me getting a new one all dirty because I'm not ready to use it I'm gonna be starting my next build soon, but I'm just not ready So I don't want to dirty it up just to show you guys this I can show you everything right here on this one plus it's already wired So maybe it'll give you a little bit of um, idea of what yours should look like um, So here we go. Let's roll through it real quick. We're gonna do the pin out for this guy uh, The first thing to take note of is the main connector. So this right here is going to connect everything for you for the Mr. Steel PDB. This PDB was designed to be ran with the Alien, which is made by Impulse RC. So keep that in mind when it comes to mounting. This just makes it easy. Uh, another thing here, this is your microphone. So it has built-in audio. So what that means is, is if you're... VTX supports it. You can hook up audio. It'll listen through this microphone right here. If you do not have this squishy foam in front of it, you're going to get nothing but noise. This does come with it. So make sure you install that right in front of it just like that. Stick it as close as you can so that way uh, all that extra noise is blocked off. Um, so that covers that. Now as far as wiring goes, so your ESCs, you're going to have four of them all the way around and this is how you will wire them. You will wire your ground and your positive. And then you have three little wires here. If you're running KISS, which is what this is designed to run, you're just going to come right off the ESC, right in line. And it's going to happen just like that. So if you lay your ESC face up with the LED facing up, you're going to run straight from here to here, here to here, here to here, here to here. I mean, you get the idea. It's pretty much uh, a no-brainer because it's all ready to go for you. Now, if you're running 6S, be sure to use a cap. You'll see like I did here, I worked in a cap. Make sure you do that. I'm not going to go over that uh, on the Mr. Steel PDB video, but I do have a video where I build the reverb. It doesn't have a steel PDB. It has the wolf PDB, but I'm going to go ahead and put it up in this corner right here. And then what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to see how to wire um, a KISS ESC up because that's what I have on there. All right, back to the PDB. So you've wired up your ESCs. Next, this is a change. So the steel PDB, as you'll see in most videos, your lipo lead is coming out here. So if you're not watching this video and you're watching an older video, you're trying to figure out how the heck you're going to do this because the lipo is coming out the back. So that's what this video is here to show you for because there's been a few changes. So here is the change. Your lipo is coming out the back. It no longer attaches by grabbing the PDB with these lock nuts and pinning it down and putting all that stress and pressure on there. There is a little blank plate you get 
and that little blank plate is what is going to hold the frame together and then you get very thin set of double-sided sticky tape and that's what's going to hold your PDB to that brace and there is a spot on that brace to put a zip tie and that's what you're going to do here and by doing that if something was to happen and your battery was to try to come ejected this would catch all of the um, impact rather than it being directly put onto your PDB okay I don't want to get over the build as much because you might not be building this build, but you just want to know how to wire. So that is how you wire the ESCs. The very next thing you're going to wire on this is going to be your camera. And you don't have to do it in this order, but you can do it in any order you want. So to wire your camera, it's very simple. You have your ground, you have your 5 volt, and you have your video in. So your video is going to go into your camera and then it's going to come here into the PDB. You have an OSD chip. You can see it right there. It's going to leave this chip and go out through your VTX. So that is what will prompt you to use this video out wire right here. If you're running audio like we talked about, you are going to use this wire here. And then you've got your power and your ground. Now, when it comes to your VTX and the steel PDB, you'll see right here I have bridged this. I bridge this based on my VTX requiring more than 5 volts. So what does that mean? That means grab your VTX and find out what voltage it takes. Is it a high voltage? Is it going to take 7 volts, 8 volts, 9 volts? I mean, some of them handle all the way up to 25 volts. Or are you running something like maybe a Unify Pro V3? If you're running something like that, then you're going to want the 5 volts. So you're going to take this middle pin here and you're going to bridge it to the right side to give yourself 5 volts. And this corresponds directly to this pad and this pad only. So make sure that you figure out what type of voltage your VTX takes and then, and then bridge this pad accordingly based on that. So just to make it simple, high voltage, bridge to the left. If it's low voltage, basically if it's 5 volts, run it to the right. So you see here I have bridge to the left because this is a high voltage VTX. Now, your audio is like we talked about. If you want to run smart audio on the steel PDB, not audio, smart audio, what you will do is you will wire your smart audio wire directly to the KISS flight controller and that is how you will set that up. That's how that's going to be done because this does not, this is not the correct format to run your smart audio right through this. All right. You have your USB over here. You also have a ground and a 5 volt if you needed extra, you know, extra pads for any reason. You've got a nice set of caps and filtering going on here. This is this is really nice. Uh, your lipo is set. Your pad we talked about. So I mean that's pretty much it. That's your wiring. It's not that difficult. That's it laid out in front of you. If you have any questions on this, feel free to drop it in the comment and I will help you with that. So I'm going to drop a card down in the corner. Make sure you pay attention to this card as far as wiring, not wiring, but as far as plugging this in. Because when you plug it into your uh, flight controller, because this is a different version of the Mr. Steel PDB, you're going to want to make sure you follow this suit, which is white on this side and black goes right by your boot button to make life easy. And they're both going to be on the bottom. You're going to leave the top one open. This is for a different application, not this one. But make sure you're running KISS, make sure you're running all, you know, all of your variables have to be the same as mine for this to work for you. And then as far as your receiver goes, that will get wired directly to the flight controller. The steel PDB will not do that for you. So camera, VTX, microphone, wiring harness, LiPo, we've covered it all, and your ESC. So now you know how to wire up the Mr. Steel PDB. Okay, pilot, so... Down in the video description, I have a link. The link is to this page. When you click that link, it's going to take you here. When you get here, you are going to click and download this zip file right here. Not the KISS OSD. That's something different. You are going to download the Steel PDB. This is the newest version right here. That is the version that I am running. Okay, go ahead and click on the Steel PDB zip file. Open it up. Click Show in Folder and use the program that you're using to unzip files and go ahead and unzip those files in a location that you will know where they are at okay pilot so now we have this i'm going to go ahead and unzip windows because i don't have any other operating systems so we're going to extract let's go ahead uh downloads is fine all right let's do it 
and downloads okay so now that we made it here the very first thing we want to do is if you're unsure click on windows that'll bring you into this you're going to see your x loader and then you are going to see the config tool configuration tool and the osd hex now how this is going to work is because the chip that is on where i should say the microcontroller that is on the steel pdb is not big enough to do all this in one shot so what we're going to do is we are going to flash the board with the config tool or the configurator tool once we have done that we are going to use that to set up all our stuff everything we want set up you know your uh the temperatures of your ESCs and all the fancy schmancy stuff you want to set up we're going to set it up with the configuration tool after we have set everything up the way we want it we are going to then go back and flash the osd back onto the board go ahead and get your quad ready get it set up and put on the table i'm going to go ahead and do mine now all right i've got my usb now what I want you guys to do is go ahead and click on your X loader folder. You're going to see the .exe that lets you know it's the program. Once you've opened it up, then you've, oh, I lost it. Once you've opened it up, you'll have it here. Now, go ahead and power up your quadcopter, okay? All right, so make sure when you powered up your quadcopter that your flight controller did not turn on and the reason why it didn't turn on is because you have port 2 disconnected so i'm going to go ahead and power it up i mean now that it's powered up i'm going to go ahead and plug it in i'm going to plug in the usb boom now that i've done that you're going to see that i have com 4 that is the com port that i have next thing you want to do is make sure that this says uno at omega 328 it is the only option I have, so that's okay. And the very next thing we're going to do is we are going to click on the config tool, open. So now everything is set up and ready to go. And the very next thing we're going to do is we are going to press upload. And as you can see, it is uploading. And you will get a confirmation of your upload because it's going to let you know how many bytes were uploaded. See, see what I mean? So I have a 28392. That lets me know that it was done successfully. Now you can go ahead and unplug the USB and then you can go ahead and power down your quad. Welcome to OpenTS. Alright pilots, go ahead and strap on your goggles, plug in your quad, and we are going to run through the OSD real quick. Nothing fancy, I'm going to just show you guys how to set it up real quick. So the first thing we want to do is, look at my elbow, first thing we want to do is we want to update the font. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Looks like my battery's dying on my display. Look at that graveyard wall, son. All right, font has been updated. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to go down to the display. We're going to set a few things of this up. You guys do not... Um, do not take too long on this because you don't want to burn up your VTX or before you do this, turn your VTX down to only 25 milliwatts. I'm going to run through some of this stuff, but... Uh, really go to icons really um, you know you guys can play with this you don't need me to show you each and every simple step so um, as far as uh, icons I want them on props no ESC no watts no uh, let me get the milliamp hour I don't need RSSI timer kiss logo I like what else we got my goggles are fat shark my watt meter uh, sure why not statistics that'll be when you power off your quad it'll show you everything as long as you have it in hidden let's go back call sign dang right I want a call sign let's see use pitch roll to set name y'all left to exit so here we go I'm gonna head to D Thank God I got a couple A's in my name. H I J K L M N. And then I'm going to y'all left to exit. And then move items. Let's see. Uh, I actually like it there. Uh, all right. 
All right. Now, if you guys are trying to set that up and you're not sure how to get out of there, you just yaw to the left, and what that will do is that'll pull you out. I know that gets a little bit confusing. So the battery, you can set up battery warnings and all that stuff. Dang right, I want that because I get, I get a little caught up in what I'm doing. Uh, minimum voltage. This is a six cell, so let's get my minimum voltage up. Oh, this could take a while, huh? All right, we're gonna go to 21.5 and back. All right, you have now set all of that stuff up, so you're good to go. Now what we are gonna do is power down the quad. Boom. Okay, pilot, so now that you flashed on your configuration tool, you went through, you set everything up just the way you like it. All the fancy schmancy stuff is on. You're good to go. The very next thing you're going to do is go ahead and unplug port 2 again. All right, pilot, so now go ahead and power your quad back up. Go ahead and plug back in your USB, your micro USB. Boom. Next thing you're going to do is check, make sure you're on the right com again. Then make sure you're on the Una AT Mega 328. Come back here. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to put back on your OSD. Go ahead and click upload. It's going to be uploading. Once it is done, you'll be good to go. And then the next step we're going to do, there you go. All the bytes are uploaded. So the very next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and test everything um, and make sure that everything is working and good to go. And you know what, man? If things aren't the way you like it, no big deal. Just flash back on the configuration tool and reset it up again. Who cares? It'll be fun. <laughs> All right, pilots. Uh, don't forget to plug back in port 2 on your flight controller. And then let's go ahead and check it out, see how it's doing. All right, power up your quad. And the next thing we want to do is let's go ahead and try her out to make sure everything is uh, right how we like it. So I've got my voltage there, my battery is there. All right. Looks like everything is perfect, just how it's supposed to be and exactly how I want it. Let's go ahead and take this thing out for a spin. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. I hope that this uh, tutorial was helpful. I hope that it got you guys right where you needed to be real quick. Uh, no nonsense or beating around the bush. Just get you the info that you need when you need it. Uh, if you're trying to set up the Mr. Steel PDB, then this will help you get it done real quick. Um, don't be afraid to play with the settings and you know set your OSD up the way that you like it. I've got it set up the way that I like it. And that's all that matters. You guys set it up the way that you like it. All right. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys on the next one.